Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily change the theme of the Power BI report from light to dark theme and vice versa with the help of slicer. So here, as you can see on my screen, if I click on dark in the slicer, it will change to dark theme. And again, if I click on light, it will change to light theme. So let's start the video. To create this theme switcher, we should have some color code for the light background and for the dark background. So we have this background and then we have some visual backgrounds that is white here. We have text that is black and we have some label that is gray. You can see these X axis, Y axis and these titles are gray in color. So we want these four colors for both light and dark background. So I have these colors handy for my report. As you can see here, uh, I have this table and we have these columns. For more, we have light and dark for BG. That is background we have uh, these colors uh, we have for visual background text and label so for these four categories you should have the colors ready for both light and dark background so basically i'm going to import this table in power bi so i will copy it and i will go to power bi here i will say enter data and here i'm going to paste this table and i will name this table as color theme and click on load so I have this table ready. So now we can add a slicer. So in this slicer visual, I will pick this mode and change the slicer setting to tile. Turn of the header and also turn of the background. Let's arrange it. So I will put it here. Also, I am going to select this and say in the slicer settings, uh, it should be single select. So at a particular time, something should be selected. So now what we will do is we will apply conditional formatting for the colors. And for that, we won't create any measures. We will directly apply the columns in the conditional formatting. For the labels, we'll apply label. For text, you can apply text. And for visual background, we will apply visual background. And for the background, we will apply this background color. So let's see how it's done. Let's do it first for KPI, this card visual. I will click on it and we can go to call out values. So we can see uh, this value color is there and uh, we will use this condition formatting option so i will click on it and in the format style choose field value and here i will choose text from the color theme table and click on ok similarly i will go to labels and for this label we have this gray color so i'll go to field value and again i will say label so we don't need to create measure for this we will directly take the filtered column value so click on ok now we have some reference labels so we can change the colors for sales so i will show you for one you can do it for others so for sales we can change the title color to label so here this in the select label versus py sales is selected which is the second one and we don't want to change the value color because it's already conditionally formatted and uh, i want that green so i'm not going to touch that I'm going to change this select label and select sales PY. So it's now selected for this PY. And for this PY, I can change this title color and say it should use this label color. And for value, it should use the text color. So in cards, you can see one background color is there. So basically these background colors coming from the card background color. So here we can change the color. So we can choose BG. So I will choose this visual background. So I have created for sales. Similarly, I will do it for profit and percentage return orders. Then let's move to this line chart. And here I'm going to go to background first. And here I will change the background. I will choose field value and I will choose BG. So visual background. So background I've changed. Now I'm going to change the title. So we have this title and we can change the title color to text. Let's change the X axis and Y axis. So in X axis and Y axis, we are going to choose label. Similarly in Y axis, in legend also, I will choose the label color. So everything we have chosen. So the last thing is this canvas background. So if I go to canvas background, so in this color option, we don't have any conditional formatting option. So what can we do is we can insert a shape for that. And let's say this one. And we'll align here. And go to fill and in the fill, I will choose the background. This BG. 
and turn off the border and that's it go to format and move this background to send to back now in the slicer let's choose dark and see what happens see it has changed it to a beautiful dark theme again if I click on light it is going to switch to a lighter theme so I hope you found this video useful and you have learned something new in this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching